Okay, guys, today we're talking about turning mixed numbers and, into improper fractions and improper fractions into mixed numbers. I'm touching on this because I have noticed that some of us have been struggling with this concept, so we're just going to do another review, so that way we can make sure that everyone completely understands how to do this. So we're gonna start with turning mixed numbers into improper fractions. Step one is to multiply the whole number times the denominator. Step two is to take that product from step one and to add it with your numerator. This number that you're gonna get, that you're gonna get the sum is going to become the new numerator in your improper fraction. Step three is that your denominator stays the same. So our example is four and two thirds. We're going to first multiply that whole number times the denominator, and we're gonna have four times three equals 12. Step two, we're going to add that to our numerator, which is two, so 12 plus two is going to equal 14. 14 is going to become my numerator, and your denominator stays the same. So four and two thirds is equal to 14 thirds. Now let's talk about turning a improper fraction into a mixed number. Step one is to divide your numerator by your denominator. And step two is after you have divided, the whole number in your quotient is going to become the whole number in your mixed number. The remainder of your quotient is going to become your numerator and your denominator stays the same. So to show you what I mean, we're going to have 14 thirds. Step one is to divide. 14 divided by three is going to equal four with a remainder of two. I know this because three times four equals 12 plus two equals 14. So now let's set this up. So we know that 14 thirds is going to be equal to four and two thirds. And let me show you how I did that. So I took my whole number and I moved it from my quotient to my mixed number. Then I take my remainder and I move it to my numerator. As always, your denominator stays the same. All right, guys, you're gonna be practicing doing this on your work today. So please, please, please let me know if you need any help. I'll be glad to help you. All right, guys, have a great day.